Hi, I'm Lucy Kelleher, a independent consultant for Close to My Heart, and today I'm going to be talking to you about our February Stamp of the Month, since that's the blog hop that I'm participating in this weekend. Um, Close to My Heart offers a special exclusive Stamp of the Month every month, and this month, February, from February 1st through the end of the month, which I believe is the 28th, we are offering this adorable Wild About You, or excuse me, Wild About Love stamp set. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it today. Our stamp sets, if you're familiar with Close to My Heart, are all acrylic and they come in this neat little compact package with a carrier. And as you can see in this particular stamp set called Wild About Love, we have nine different images. There are these really cute foxes. There's a double fox here that looks like they're kissing. And a couple of sentiments. Wild Thing, I'm not sure if you can tell, Wild Thing. I love you and then this one here that says hey foxy now what's really cool about close to my heart and many of our stamp sets is that our many of our stamp sets will have images on them that coordinate with one of our exclusive Cricut cartridges so when you look at this particular stamp set I don't know if you can tell but right here on the top right it actually says art philosophy and then that means is if you have the art philosophy Cricut cartridge which with this cartridge, you not only get the cartridge itself, you get three stamp sets that coordinate exclusively with the cartridge, as well as a couple of sets of dimensional elements. Now, for those of you familiar with Cricut, you know you get your little cartridge, you get your overlay, and these were, uh, the art philosophy came out before the universal overlay was created by Cricut, so you'll see our overlay is very specific and detailed, and then here's our booklet. Well, on the carrier sheet for the stamp set here, Wild About Love, you'll notice that there are some images that actually have an outline. That means that is an image that coordinates with the uh, Art Philosophy cartridge. And right here, I'm not sure if you can tell with the glare, it actually tells you the size to cut and what page. So if you wanted to cut a shape for this sentiment, Wild Thing, to fit on, you'd go to page 36 of the booklet, which is right here. And according to the carrier sheet, you're going to cut it one and three quarter inches. Now, when you look at this page, you'll see that there's the image that will stamp, as well as this one here. Now, they may look identical, but this second one is actually a tag, and there are some holes that are cut when you use this shape. And that means you can use it when put brads in it, you can put eyelets or twine or ribbon or whatever. For the project that I'm going to be showing you later, I actually use this one right here. The other image on the stamp set that coordinates with the art philosophy is this heart and here it tells me the image is on page 69 and we're going to cut it one and a half. So when I go to page 69 oops, that's 59 sorry here's 69 you'll see there's the stamp or there's the image the shape and I don't know if you noticed on the other page but I had a number written and I actually, for me, make it easy for myself to find the keys since there's so many images. What I do is, there are actually, for the images that are cut, there are five rows. So I name them A, B, C, D, and E. Now you go across and there are ten images within each row, so a one, two, three, and so on. Well, this heart image, as you can see, I wrote is on E9, and there is a picture on the pamphlet here, but for me, sometimes it's easier for me just to write it down if I refer back to it rather than going back to the row and counting out. So the heart is row E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, image 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's right there on that. So, you know, you can use your own system. For me, that's what works. Now I'd like to show you a project that I made uh, using this Wild About Love stamp set that we're offering this month. And um, this isn't something I created. This is something that you'll actually find in the brand new Close to My Heart idea book that goes live February 1st. And you'll find the stamp set and an actual picture of my project on page 11 of the new idea book. So what I did was I recreated this card and this is a regular A2 size card, so it'll fit in the regular envelope. And I used a number of actually great new products that are coming out, in addition to the Wild About Love stamp set. I used paper from 
our Paper Fundamentals Basic Assortment. This paper pack has 20 double-sided sheets of paper. Same design on both sides, one side with a glossy resist pattern and the other with the, um, with the non-glossy. Um, it's a basic color palette, so you'll see a lot of neutrals, black, browns, that kind of thing. So I used that paper for this project. And I'll show you a sample. So here is one side. And then the other side is actually the glossy. So it's the same pattern, and this one happens to have hearts on it. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe better one off the other. Here's the little the resist side, and here's the regular side. So it's the hearts here, but on the other side. So I use this for my card. And when I made this card, um, I'm not sure if you know, but every project that you see in our idea book has a recipe. And if you want to know exactly how to make a specific project, a card, a layout, whatever, if you go to your consultant's website, click on idea book, there's a section there that says recipes, and you can actually print that out. And it'll tell you every product that was used to create that particular product, or project, excuse me. And um, if they used a cartridge, for example, for this particular card, I ended up using the Artiste, which is not what is called for on this kit, or excuse me, on this stamp set. However, this sentiment that says, I love you, actually fits in an image on the Artiste Cricut cartridge. While the recipes will actually tell you, use the craft cardstock, the basic assortment cardstock set, the wild about love stamp set, etc., etc., and then it lists Artiste, and it tells you the buttons to push, or rather which page your image will be on and how big to cut it at. So, to make this card we also used a pattern from our how-to book called Make It From Your Heart, Volume 2. This pattern happens to be pattern number 19 on page 42, and what's really cool about our pattern books, or our how-to books, it's for those of you that maybe are just starting out and you're not quite sure what to do or how to make a card or even a layout and you need some specific instruction. For those of you that already know how to do all that, you can still use it because it's something where if you're having a day where you just want to create a couple of cards and you can't think, great way for inspiration and it could be a jumping point for a project. So for example, this <clears throat> pattern was used for the card I'm going to show you, but as you can see, this one has more of an oblong or rectangular shape <clears throat> for the sentiment. It has a heart and that kind of thing. Where the card I'm making for you today has a circular shape. And obviously, instead of the heart, we have, we're using the fox from our stamp set. So it's a great jumping point as well as an inspirational thing um, when you buy our or use our how-to books. So this particular one, again, I've already told you where it is. What I did was I cut the basic assortment paper at two and three quarters by five and a half, and that way it'll fit directly across the card. Then the base underneath, just to have a little bit of a frame or a margin, I just cut, obviously it's the same piece of paper using the other side. That was cut at three and a quarter by five and a half, and then we just put those together. Now again, we just took our white card stock, Cut it in half, took an eight and a half by eleven piece of white cardstock, cut it in half, and that makes two cards that are the A2 size. And as you see, that's going to fit right across there. Now, I'm not sure if you notice, but there's a little glitter up here. I used some twine that we're coming out with in this book with some new colors. It's called Neutral Metallic Baker's Twine. It comes in black, cashmere, chocolate, and slate, and there's ten yards each. And so I used that. It was about, oh gosh, 30 inches of twine that I cut, and then I wrapped it around. Now for my card, you'll see it's not on the inside. I actually wrapped these pieces and then glued them down. Now you can do it that way. You can also just take it and wrap it around the whole card. It's whatever your personal preference is. Um, because this is fairly flat, all I did was use my Tombow runner, wrapped the baker's twine around, and just glued it on the back. And as you can see, this stays here, and it's got a little movement, which is nice, so you can play around with it. Okay. Then I took an image from, or a uh, shape from the Artiste Cricut cartridge. You can find it on page 35, and it's this image right here, Accent 4. 
I cut it at two inches, so this is what I came up with. I took some chocolate ink, and on this craft piece of cardstock that I cut, I just stamped the image or the sentiment "I love you" in chocolate ink. And I always love to give it a little more dimension, so I even used a sponge dauber and edged the um, edges of the shape. Okay. I then took this the fox out of the stamp set. I stamped it in Sunset Ink, and then since this image does not have a cut on one of our cartridges, I just used my scissors and fussy cut or manually cut, really easy, hardly took any time, and then just laid it right there. Finally, you're going to see this blue strip on the bottom. This is crystal blue paper, and what I did was I took um, a piece of the cardstock half an inch by five and a half and I used our close to my heart scallop border punch to cut that out. What's really neat and you'll see I still have <laughs> the blue in there is, and let me empty it for you, see and what's nice too it's got a little, a little tray here that closes so it'll capture your scraps instead of having them fly at you. But you can see in side so when you slide your paper inside you can actually see I don't know if you can see with the camera there you go you can see it's moving right there you can see where exactly where you're punching so then I punched out this scallop border using this punch and that's it that's how I made this cute little card again this is not my original creation this is actually will be in your idea book when you take a look at it or if you look at it online and this card um, I'm making for Halloween I'm sorry, not Halloween, Valentine's Day. And you can always change up the colors. Um, you know, I use Sunset for this. I may redo this card and use a red ink, like Ruby or Cranberry, just to make it more Valentine's or traditional Valentine's. Um, let me see if there is anything else. Oh, yes. Right here, these two embellishments, they actually came from this Durable Triangle Studs Pack. You get 48 pieces of them, and they actually are self-adhesive. So you just peel it off and you stick them on there. It's really cool. So that gave it just a little extra dimension. So in some ways it's a very simple card, but when you look, take a closer look, you can see that there's a little more to it. Now tr traditionally, or typically, when I do my cards, I don't put a sentiment inside because I like to write my own sentiment, but obviously you can go ahead. You could even, you know, take it, take the Hey Foxy out of this stamp set, or I Love You, or even the Wild Thing, stamp it on the inside use an, a sentiment from another stamp set. So there's my card. Here's the really cool Wild About Love stamp set that is being offered this month through your Close to My Heart Independent Consultant. You can purchase this stamp set for only $5 with a qualifying purchase. Otherwise, you can also purchase this for $17.95. It's available from February 1st through the 28th. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please leave a comment on my blog. I, I don't do too many videos, so I was a little nervous, but I think this went okay. And I hope to be doing more of these videos. Happy Valentine's Day!